Hi friends, welcome back. Today I have another Owl Crate unboxing. I feel like it's been so long since I've opened an Owl Crate box, even though like I opened one last month. But I'm very excited to get into this one. I have not been spoiled at all, shockingly. Usually I see stuff, but I've been so busy that I haven't even had time to like look at what's going on. So let's just get her open. So off the top we have our little card and this is June. I almost forgot what month it's what, what month it was and it's if the fates allow. So let's put that to the side because we don't want to be spoiled and let's get a little sneak peek. Just lots of wormies, you can't see anything. And I think everyone knows the gist. Monthly subscription box, you get a book, some items, it's YA, fun time. This one is my favorite box to open. So let's get these wormies out, shall I? Oh, there's something in the worms. I could have lost that. Okay, let's just right off the bat get the first thing. And this is the pin of the month. So these have been my favorite series so far. And this is Treasured Tomes. And this one is inspired by the Raven Cycle. And we're halfway through. This is 6 of 12. That's crazy. We're halfway through the year. I feel like my hair looks really crazy right now. That was random, but... So, ooh, I love the color of this one. I love this blue. I've never read, um, what is this, Raven Boys, Raven, The Raven Cycle. I haven't read it, so, um, whoa. Ooh, it's like, okay, so mine is a little busted. The hinge is a little um, rough, doesn't really want to open, but I think this is very cute on the inside. That's my favorite thing about these pins, is that they add just these really cute details that, if you read the book, they usually, you know, make sense. I obviously don't understand any of this because I've never read it, but maybe one day, if I ever read it, I'll understand because I have my pin. Or I'll find someone who loves the Raven Cycle and it'll go to them. Moving on. The next thing we have is this very pretty box. And this is the Song of Achilles hand mirror. Interesting. This is going to be a very tiny hand mirror. I don't know how I feel about this item. I don't think I would ever use it. I guess ooh, it would be a very pretty display item. I think that would, that would be what it's good for. Let's get out of this bubble wrap. Oh, it's so pretty. So it has a little helmet on the back. I love this art. It just looks very like vintage, like this looks like a vintage hand mirror. And on the actual mirror it says, I would know him in death at the end of the world. Aww. This, oh, <laughs> you probably won't even be able to see the writing, you'll just see the reflection. But it's written right across the top right here. I just absolutely love this, even though I don't think I would ever use it. I think this would be really pretty to, like, display somewhere. I have a Greek mythology shelf, so maybe it'll go on there. Um, but I don't think it's really, like, practical use. Like, I'm not going to use that to, like, do anything with it. But, next thing. It says, the sea does not like to be restrained. I don't know what this is from. Let's see. Okay, so it's inspired by Percy Jackson. My SD card filled, so back to what I was saying. It's an enamel pendant necklace inspired by Percy Jackson. Let's get it untangled. Oh, I think this is super cute. So it is, oh, it's double-sided. I just got really excited. So it has his sword in the waves, and then there is an owl on the other side holding a sword as well. That's so pretty. Oh, I love this. I'm not a huge fan of like the chain or anything, but I think this would be so cute if you threw this on a keychain, which is something that I definitely feel like I would do. Um, I just don't think I would wear it. It's like one of those like just black like fabric keychains. But I think this is really cute. I just think that this enamel is really good quality. Would make a very good um, keychain. Or you could just throw it on a gold chain and wear it that way, which I think wouldn't be bad as well. I really like this little pouch it came in though. It's a nice little velvet pouch. I think that one side, okay, I was gonna say, uh, one side's for Percy and one side is for Annabeth. So it has Riptide on one side and Athena's Owl on the other. So cute, and it's designed by Keeley Studios. 
let's go on to our next thing that we have in here. And this is, it says, keep your wooden tables and halls safe from wayward burns with this ceramic trivet inspired by our favorite tales from North mythology. This trivet features a quote by Neil Gaiman and has been lovingly illustrated by at Pammy. Sorry, I don't think I said that right. So I think this is like a jumbo coaster. Oh, this is cool. It says, that's the joy of myths. Read the stories, then make them your own. And it has a cork on the other side. So I think this would be great for like a teapot. So this would be a good coaster for that. Or um, I think you could put like a pot on here as well if you wanted to. It's kind of just like a jumbo coaster. So you could use it as a normal coaster, but you can use it for larger items as well, like pots or teapots. And I think that this is really cool. Nice. Okay, moving on. Intriguing. So there's a tag in here somewhere. It's like this pouch. It says, from the sea to the sea, a picnic blanket. Oh, it's a... It's inspired by the Scorpio races by Maggie Steif... I'm sorry. I cannot pronounce her last name. I always feel horrible when I like can't pronounce things, um, but it's designed by Janine Lucker and Divine Liter Literary. This is so cool. So it's a foldable um, picnic blanket. Ooh. And it just has this like horse design on it, like these water horses and seashells and little bones. And I'm very intrigued. Yeah, okay, so the one side is like this plasticky material so that you would put that on the ground and you won't like if the ground's wet or anything like that it won't get on you and the tag is nice because it has folding instructions i'm not gonna unfold whole things i'll never you can never refold things the same way that you unfolded them it's quite frustrating um but this has little instructions on how to fold it back up which i think is so nice i'll have to take a picture of it because i have another one of these but it's not quite as compact. I love the size of this. I think this is so nice. And I'm going camping this weekend, so this will be coming with me to go camping. Let's see. Oh, that was the last item. Very exciting. Let's get into the book then. Whoa. It's not wrapped in plastic. Oh, finally. I've been saying this literally forever. Just stop wrapping them in plastic because... I don't, I don't need the plastic. I don't care about the plastic. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I know it probably protects the book and everything like that, but I think it's such a waste. Like, if you're gonna do anything, do the pouches like Fairy Loot and Illumicrate. But let's just take a look at this book. It is the th Threads That Bind, and I'm so excited to read this. I have been seeing it at Barnes & Noble, and I wanted to read it, but I didn't want to buy it because I had a feeling that it was gonna come in one of these boxes. This is so cute. It says Threads That Bind, and it is by Kika. And that's her last name right here. And on the back it says, Feel Your Fear and Keep Going Anyway. This is so different than the original cover as well. I think this is gorgeous. So let's get the um, little dust jacket off. I love these clear dust jackets. So it is a clear holographic. Oh no, the holographic is on the book. It is just a clear dust jacket with this white um, overlay on it. And the book is this like dark blue with this holographic um, graphic on it. <laughs> this is so pretty. <gasps> Whoa. These I'm not a huge fan of. I just think they look really funny. Like this one, you cannot tell what is going on. It took me such a like a hot second to figure out that this is a girl. And I just think that this guy's facial features look really uh, <laughs> messed up. <laughs> but I honestly don't care. Like that's not a, like a big bother for me. And then we have our author letter that's inside the book and our signature page. I'm so excited. This is actually like very floppy too, which I... I really like, I don't think I've ever had a floppy hardcover. I don't know if that means anything about the quality of the book, but I kind of dig it because I love a good floppy paperback. 
And I'm so excited to read this. I think that a lot of people are going to be really happy with this edition. I just think it's very cool and it's so unique to what Fairy Loot has done. I don't think they've done a clear one, at least not that I've gone. A clear like dust jacket like this. I just think it's so pretty. Oh, Fairy Loot, good job. This is not Fairy Loot. Owl Crate, good job. I think this is fantastic. And we also have our little pamphlet in here. And this will show the original versus the old one. So, I mean, versus the new one. So they're so different. It's insane. I love the original one, but I definitely like this edition a lot. And then we just have our normal stuff in here, our little playlist. And the final thing, our little sneak peek for July. And... The theme is Break the Curse, and it will have an item designed by Anne Gian Art. Awesome! That was everything that was in the box this month. The items were, like, low-key lackluster for me. I could care less about, like, 99% of them, except for the picnic blanket. A+. Plus. That's, like, a great thing, especially for summertime. And the book was phenomenal. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!